Hello guys, it is me, Joe, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario 1000 Year Door. In the last episode, we um, answered a bunch of questions that were actually somewhat easy. And by somewhat, I mean really easy. Two-year-old could do it. Bet my nephew could even do it. Choose your destination, let's go to sub-level 2. Because that's where the elevator is, and that's where we need to go. I believe, anyway. I don't think it's on... It wouldn't make sense for it to be on a higher level, so I'm assuming it's here. Please be right. Yes, I am right. I am the right. Please insert the key, elevator key, and this will give us access to sub-level 3 and 4, I believe. Let's see. 3 and 4, I didn't mean to press A, but that's okay. And this is the room where I can actually do a couple things. I think, yeah, there's enemies over here, so let's do this. And then, quickly run over them. I don't know why my voice got loud there, but what is here? Oh god, it's this room. This room can be annoying. You act, you have to follow the light. And this actually reminds me a lot of um, Ocarina of Time. Because um, the like when you're in the desert and you have to follow the big Poe. It reminds me of that because the big Poe at some point goes back and this actually goes back too. I think it actually does it here but I'm not exactly 100% sure. Like right now it's going to go back. Yes, I am correct. This is indeed why it reminds me of Ocarina of Time of Oot. Because I want some Oot. I love Oot. I believe that is actually a sleepy sheep that is in that um, question mark box. From my memory, like um, the last time I did this a couple days ago, but I'm not entirely sure. I know it's a battle item, that much I can say. I hope I can say that. Oh my god, I got scared. I thought, um, like I got hurt for some reason, and Yoshi is glitching. That was weird. Okay, so let's go over here. So we've done everything here. What is this? No, it's a bat. It's a, yeah, it's a bat. So. Is this useful? Um, um, no it's not. Let's get rid of it. It only gives us 5 HP. Like, it takes away 5 from the enemy, and it... Uh, I don't want to fight you, and I should have gotten first strike, but that's okay. Do we want to fight these guys? Yeah, why not? I'll level up anyway. So, let's actually do... Since I'm gonna level up, I'm just gonna use the... Attacks that I have, the good ones. Yeah, it only does one. Why did it... Didn't it in the last chapter that did like three damage to each or something? I don't even remember, so... Gulp! Just changing subjects. Okay. So die, you're dead, right? No. So, I hope that guy does not use his boo sheet, but he might. Yeah, he will. That's gonna make this worse, but... Fortunately, he used it on his partner, not him. Um, his partner is the weak one. This guy's actually the one that poses a threat if anything so we can't do anything so we are going to um, just defend and I'm sorry I'm not like showing off any of these moves like um, mini egg I don't actually yeah I have done that I'm gonna do it right now just because I know I'm gonna get my FP refilled anyway so mini egg what it does is you gotta press a at a certain time and when you get an upgrade, I believe you can um, get four eggs instead of three. And what that does is it's make, like, okay, so it also made him um, evasive. Like, it's up to his evasiveness, which, if that's even a word, I don't even know. It doesn't sound like one, but it probably is. That's actually bad. So this um, item can do something good and bad unless he drank a potion. I think he drank a potion, I don't know, but maybe that's not an effect that I caused. I actually don't remember. I think I remember him drinking a potion, though. Unless he threw that at us. So, what I am going to do, I'm going to go with FP. I think I recently said that I was going to go for HP, but I'm going to go for FP, because FP is actually really useful. And then I'm going to go for BP, and then I'm going to go for HP, and then that's probably how the cycle's going to go on. And Boo Sheet is actually a good item to have, so... Shooting Star... I'm going to get rid of the regular Mushroom, because I don't want that. 
And let's actually see what's over here. Another one of these guys, which I don't like because it's hard to avoid them with this passageway being so not good. And we only have one card key, so we need to go to the fourth sub-level. Please don't spot me. Where? Watch this. No. Moves. Yes, I got the moves. So we have to go to the other sub-level four to get the next two card keys, I believe. These one... What? These ones aren't that bad, I think. The one to the far left is probably the worst one to get. So I'm going to get that one out of the way. Because I think this one you actually have to look at a... Wait, this is Peach's room. Which one do you have to... What? Okay, this is not where I thought it was. No, there's an enemy. Yeah, there's an enemy there. Tries to trick you. Okay, so this is obviously not the room that I thought it was. So, my mistake. And if we go all the way to the right, which I won't do, that's actually where Tech is, obviously, because you've seen me play the game. And that room is actually locked, so I'm not going to waste my time with that. So, let's go to sub-level 3, because, yeah, the thing that I fail to do is I fail to um, open the side doors. Are there even side doors here? Let me even see. I don't think there are, but usually, yeah, these ones don't have, like, side doors. Usually there's, like, side doors, and I always forget to, um, open those. Like, I'll just go straight to the, like, I'll go back and forth, but I won't check the rooms, um, that are just, like, on the sides, if that made sense. So, let's go to sublevel two because I believe that's where we want to go. I don't know. I did this a couple days ago. Not too much of a problem, but I'm kind of forgetting at the moment. And I think I actually got a cog. Did I do that in the last episode? Like the thing with the cog? I don't remember. Um, over here. Thank you. Please tell me this is the room with the cog. Is it? No. Wait, is this room? Yeah, this is the one we haven't done. I don't know why I I don't know why I haven't come in here yet. What? Oh, it starts with this one. Durr. Okay, this one kind of confuses me because I can't always tell where the squares are relative to where I'm standing. So, one, two, three, four. So, one, two, three, four. So, I'm four. I should be good, right? Yeah, and then this goes all the way here. And then there's another um, thing right here, so you don't have to worry about that. So, let's go here, and then I believe... I go down, yes. Okay, so right here, 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 and then, yes. So, I don't know why, but for some reason, I don't know if it's because of, like, my TV kind of being small, and that picture kind of being a, li a little bit blurry, but, like, I can't tell where the squares are that well, because, I don't know why, it's supposed to be way easier than I kind of made it out to be, even though I kind of made it look easy, but yeah, it's supposed to be easy. So, if we go to our gear, you will notice that we have two, wait, do we? Yeah, we have two card keys, so we need one more card key, which I believe is it over here, if not, let me, whoa, okay. See, that's me with my crazy good re um, reflexes, nope, why aren't you getting off Yoshi? I pressed X, Mario. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> well, I'm not dealing with you guys, so... Run away, run away, run away, run away. Let's go. Open the door. I think this is where something else occurred. Let me see. E Wait, no. Okay, this is... Wow. <laughs> this is where I haven't gone, I think. Why haven't I been checking these rooms? I have no idea. It's a mystery at this point, guys. Like, this entire LP was a mystery. That's a good six star point. I'm seven star points. Getting my numbers mixed up here. And this is the room where Peach was when we had to go invisible. And is this the card key I already got, actually? No, it's not. Okay. For some reason, I thought I came here in the last episode. But obviously, I'm thinking of something else. So, let's go over here and exit. Sir Grotus's room right now. I kind of did that so you wouldn't think that it, um, the video was like disynchronized because that kind of 
how I said that, that early made it sound like the video was desynchronized, if that even made sense. So let's go to the sub-level 2. No, 3 actually, because this is where the cog is, I think. I'm pretty sure I have not done this yet. And if I have, then I have a really, really bad memory. No, what the heck? How is that not where the cog is? Where is everything in this game? I, I seriously don't know where anything is. Can I go down from here by any chance or no? I think I'm on the lowest floor. No, four. No, but this is like the, the way bottom. Okay, well now anyway that we have the... What? Okay, well at least I got the first attack. That's nice. Anyway, I'm actually, yeah, I will kill these guys because um, they will die, like, really fast anyway. Yoshi will not one-hit kill them because he is not powerful enough, unfortunately. And I don't know why I'm having a hard time figuring my way around this place. Because it's not that hard. It really isn't. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Yoshi actually stomp that. Just in case, for some reason, Yoshi doesn't kill him in the next turn, Mario will. And these, the mini yucks, only have 1 HP, if I've never mentioned that before. Now you know. <clears throat> so, that's a nice amount of star points, I guess. 10 star points will you do. It's not bad, but it's not great either. So, where does this room lead? Probably somewhere I've already been. No. Wait. Okay, I am so confused. Why can I not find the cog room? Okay, so anyway, let's just enter the this. But no, I need to find that room because if I do what's in there, like um jeez, I want to do it now because this is a once in a lifetime thing, pretty much. Like in a, in this save, if I finish this place and I go back to Rogueport and get the star, like from here, then that's it. Like, I can never come back to this place ever again because it explodes pretty much. And there are badges here that I want to get, but for some reason I'm having a hard time finding them. I don't know why. I've just played this not that long ago. They're not in these rooms, it's in one of these. Like, it's in one of the far left rooms. Why can't I find it? Okay, I've already checked in here, but in case I haven't, let's go in here. Yeah, this is that room. I think it's on the first sub-level. Did I even check the first sub-level? Oh my god, what is happening here? I don't even know. Let's go, so. No, I chose level 1 instead of sub-level 1, like an idiot. But what's new, right? So yeah, this is level 1. There's nothing on level 1 besides the door to the far right, which um, had the card key in. So that's not the room. And like I said, it's a room on the far left. That I know for a fact. So it has to be one of these floors, but I swear I checked this floor. Get away, please. So, please, will it be, is it this? Yes, oh my, why could I not find you? Okay, so we have these, so let's press them. Okay, this you have to press in a certain order. This one, this one, this one. I don't know how you're supposed to know, like, the thing for that, but whatever. Okay, so what's gonna happen is we go over here, and this is the claw thing. The claw, yes, because no one can get the claw, whatever. So, the crane, yeah, the crane will move left. For as long as you hold down A. The crane will move backwards for as long as you hold down B. But if you let go of A, then you have to use B. If that made sense. Okay, so there. And then there. I hope I got this on practice. I got these on the first try. And this isn't like one of those rigged cranes where you know you get it perfect spot on. And then the item just drops out. Like... When you go to a place that actually has those, it's so stupid how they do that. Like, you know those things are rigged. Everything is rigged, man. Like, no, nothing wants you to, to succeed, and I should have been going for this one last. These ones are easy because um, it's pretty much just going 
Wow. Okay, so I said it's easy and then I miss it. But as I was saying, um, they're pretty much like on the far... Like, if you just hold B all the way until you can't anymore, that's pretty much how far you can go. And let's turn this on. I wish I didn't have to watch this stupid cutscene. Well, animation, whatever you want to call it. So, A. A. And B. Right here. Well, that's supposed to be way easier. You're supposed to look at the light, obviously, like the yellowish light, not the rainbow colored light. So that's a star piece. This is actually weird because if you were going for 100% and if you forgot about this room, then you would screw yourself if you never come here because, like I said, when you complete this, um, like when you complete this chapter and you collect the crystal star and do what you need to do. Um, this place explodes, so you can never come back to it again, so... It, like, it's so lame how you can actually screw yourself out of these badges. And if I didn't mention it, these badges are feel like fine, which makes you immune to poison and dizziness, I think. It's poison and something, let me see. Yeah, poison and dizziness. So, these might be useful. Um, I can... Um, definitely tell you that it will be useful for battling, like, Hooktail. Well, not Hooktail, but Bonetail. I've never actually battled the Bonetail. That's something I need to do. Like, I've never in my life battled Bonetail for as long as I played this game. And get away from me. Oh my god. I said get away, and what do you do? You don't get away. You just hit me because you think you're almighty. So let's just spam A, like we always do because we're cowards. <clears throat> now let's go back to that room where we enter in the car keys because that's kind of like a that's the biggest room in this place and it's kind of annoying but not at the same time if you know what you're doing well it's really easy because like I can just run it through my head anyone can if you've like played it before already know what you're doing so I believe it's on sub level what I thought this was the elevator for some reason what the heck I don't know why I thought that was the elevator, but okay. I saw the green and I just assumed it was the elevator. That's weird. So I think it's on sub level 3. I could be wrong about this. I like I mean like it's only been a couple minutes since I've been here and I already forgot where the room is. It's like wow. I mean Mario's wearing purple. Maybe he forgot that he's Mario, not Waluigi. Maybe that explains everything. Voice stop cracking. Okay, so this room, we need Bobbery, the bomb, and there is an enemy here, so this might, okay, well, I'm going to do them throws there at me, and then throw them over here, and then, um, get Vivian ready, because we're actually going to be needing Vivian, this is the only other time I think that you actually do this with Vivian, so you have to use the disappearing ability to go under this. And there's actually an Ultra Shroom here, which I will be picking up. Um, even th even if that means getting rid of an item. Because this will definitely be worth it. And do I already have an Ultra Shroom? Yeah, I do. And yeah, there's another Ultra Shroom. So, that will actually be a very good having two Ultra Shrooms. Bam. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to finish this room. And I'm going to call the video there. This is optional, obviously, but I'm going to go for it. Just because it's right there, you know. Okay, what do I want to get rid of? What do I want to get rid of? Na -na 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 -na. Gradual syrup. Don't like that. Go away. That thing is made out of rubber or something. Because it just bounced. So, this is just timing, but my timing is really good. <laughs> so, I will have no problems with this. Just keep in mind that um, you have to land on cogs. Which, let's go over here, because please tell me I didn't make a mistake. Um, I think you want to go here first. No, you don't, because doesn't this lead you right... No, is, wait, is this where you wanted to go? Um. Um. Yes, you wanted to go here first. Okay, I always mix that up. Like, last time I played this, like, when I practiced this, I got that confused, too. Like, I didn't know if I had to keep going, or if I had to just... whatever. 
Actually, maybe this is what I should have done, like, before. I don't even know. So, let's go back in the pipe. And actually... A actually, yeah, I, was a I think I did it the other way. Because then it's kind of like only one trip, if that makes sense. Because I don't remember I'm going to the stairs first. I remember seeing that for last. This is kind of weird because you have to time it. I think, yeah, this is the one where you have to time it. Fortunately, I got it on the first one. The last time, like on my practice, I had to wait like five times for it to actually synchronize. Which was annoying. <clears throat> This is actually annoying too because um, it forces you to go back to the beginning and my voice keeps cracking because derp. Wait, doesn't? Yeah, it does. So we have to go back to the beginning. That's that's lame. But it won't take that. Why can't I jump up here? Thank you. I couldn't jump. Mario's getting... Really? Okay. Take your word for it, game. I suck. Okay, let's go over here. And Vivian, why? Vivian never looked like that before. It's really weird how she has those black lines running across, like, down her thing, her body, or whatever that, whatever you call that. I don't know. Can I make it? Can I make it? Yes. Watch me fail this. Okay, that's good. No, don't. Spin jump. Go over here. And I think there's a save block here, so I will hit that. Please be a save block. No. Oh my gosh. I thought I just jumped off. So. Once we go in here it triggers the boss fight. But I'm not going to do the boss fight in this video. No sorry. So. In the next episode of Paper Mario and a Thousand Year Door. We will fight the boss. And do what else we have to do. So. Until then. See you later. And goodbye.